Well, everyone knows that flowers are such a great way to add detail and attention to a celebration, and flowers that are made out of paper are incredibly on trend and can be very expensive, but I am going to show you a way, with my new line exclusively available at Michael's, how it's easy, fabulous, fun, simple, and I got my partner, Jen, who's going to help me walk us through the entire process. Let's talk about that. Um, can I just show them first? Yeah, let's okay, see them. Right, hold on. You hold this one. Okay. And Which is unbelievable. And then I've got this one, and I have this one. They come in a variety of all different sizes that you can make. And I love the detail that we did. It's true. We just distressed ink some of the edges of these petals. But let's take a look at how you actually make these flowers. Like David said, we can do a few different sizes. We're going to make one of the largest ones right now. Time out. Slow down. I want to walk it really slowly okay. because I know a lot of people get nervous when they have to work with a lot of different things. It's a lot of pressure. So I, I want everyone to know that anyone, and I seriously mean everyone, can do this because it's not difficult, it's very affordable, it's tons of fun, and you can make something for anyone and for every celebration. So now, okay, now I'll let you step into the paper, the product, and all the right, process. let's do it. So all you need to start is a six by 12 piece of paper, and you're just gonna fold that right in half. I'm using a piece of paper from your paper pad collection from Sizzix. Hold on, I'm gonna go over here because I wanna look at my paper and show everyone how fabulous. The different colors. We've used quite a bit of it. It's so we popular. Have. It's good. So go ahead. Okay, so to make this, we're going to lay this folded piece of paper right on your platform. And we're using our Sizzix Big Shot machine. I'm going to use my magnetic platform, and that helps your dies actually stick in place. So if I lift this up, you can see that that's not going to go anywhere. That's going to stay right in place. I'm going to lay my die right down just a hair over that fold. That's called cutting on the fold. And we're going to finish our like sandwich. sandwich. Thank you. Thank it's you. a sandwich. The dye goes on the inside like the jelly, and the blue on the outside is like, like the, the bread. bread. And we're just going to roll this right through the machine. Super easy. Now, when we take out your die cut, you're going to see the whole reason why we folded that piece of paper to begin with. Check this out. We have an extended flower petal. Look how go. big of a piece of paper die cut that gives you. This is what gives you the ability to make such large scale flowers. Right, and, I, and, and when they're looking at the, the product, again, exclusively available at Michael's, is that on the outside of the packaging, it shows you right, right along the bottom, it shows you the size of mm -hmm. the flower that you'll be getting based upon the die that you're gonna be purchasing. So they come in a variety of different patterns and also different sizes. So from this point, all you would do is continue to cut your petals out and layer them on top of each other. A lot of different petal sizes comes in each flower, along with something to help decorate the middle, the stamen for the middle of your flower. But you know what's interesting? Look at how much volume this flower has. So interesting, Jen. I love it. It's so interesting. But you got to show them how that happens. Look how flat this is. How does this happen? I don't know. There's some kind of curling tool that I created and oh, kind of makes the process a little bit more you're unique. You're just brilliant. I know. So show them how to make it come this, to life. This, my friends, is the Sizzix Crease and Curl Tool. And this is how you make your flowers come to life. Let's do a little demo to show you how that works. So I'm going to take my cutting pad and use it as a straight edge. This end right here is a scoring tool, and I'm just going to create a score line right down the center of my petal. Now you notice the slot right here, that is how you create all of the volume in your flower. It's very simple. All you do is insert your paper into the slot, turn the tool, and pull it out. And you immediately start to see how you get some contouring and volume, all without tearing or bending your paper, which is the crucial piece in keeping your flower looking beautiful. Now, what do you think? If you're, when you're curling the paper, so give them a tip because on this particular one, it was all accented and added some color. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's important to add the color, then curl, or curl, then color? I think I would add the color, and then I would curl it. When it's, after it's dry, yeah. just give it a curl. I think that once you have the volume on, you probably have a hard time kind of laying it down and getting your mm -hmm. distress ink on there. It probably ruin your volume. I would do that last. There you go. So the trick to this is, is that as many petals as you make, mm -hmm. you keep layering and layering and layering and layering and changing the size, and then you're beginning to build your flower. It's beautiful. It's a very simple, easy process for something that's very popular and beautiful. Yes. So flower trends, on trend, easy to do, accessible. And you know what? Have a great time doing it because flowers are beautiful. They make people smile. You can add them to your celebration. You can add them to home decor. And you can add attention to detail to anything you want people to be happy with.